I'm Connors from Maglo. Um, thanks for coming along to my stand here at the Northern Shooting Show. Um, we're about halfway through this is the first day, or it could be towards the end of the first day. I'm not entirely sure. I've lost all concept of time and reality. Um, it's been a good day so far. There have been a lot of people who are coming up to the stand and looking at it. I have a TV over here which is playing videos on practical shooting. Uh, that's definitely getting a lot of people's interest. People are coming over to ask about the videos and that is great. Um, we are sending them around the corner to the UK PSA. The UK PSA are then finding people, their local clubs and get, trying to get them into practical shooting which is, which is great. Um, today, We've brought along a few new bits. We have finally launched the V-Loader, which is a loader primarily aimed at three gun, um, but really designed to replace our double quad loader. The double quad loader is a great product, absolutely indestructible. It turned into just having a lot of bolt-ons onto it to keep it up with modern loaders. The best thing about the V-Loader is it can be used left or right-handed quite easily. This one is currently set up for right-handed use. You press the two buttons at the side, pull the chip out, flip it round, and click it in. It's now a left-handed loader. I'm really hoping that people will see this as the next double quad loader, because you can mount two of these to one tech lock. There's a, a, a lot of benefits to that. Moving on, we finally managed to bring some Smith & Wesson 1522 parts to the show. We have our Smith Out display that has had tons and tons of interest. People really excited about finally having a Magwell built for practical shooting. Uh, we have the ambidextrous mag release, which is now ready and being used. Uh, this has had really quite a good reception. People like this mag release, and I'm looking forward to seeing people using it. The 30 degree safety has been by far and away uh, the best thing. We're probably are we halfway, maybe two thirds of the way through the first day? I'm nearly out of these. Uh, they have done, they've done really, really well. And lastly, people seem to love breech flags and magazine springs. So when I brought out a 22 slash 223 rail mount breech flag, people have gone nuts for it. We've sold loads of these. People are really enjoying them. It's, it's, it is a little gimmicky, but it's functional at the same time. The most important thing is, not only does it fit your 2.2 and your 2.2.3s, but it clears both the extractor and the ejector on both of them, just like our 12 gauge breech flag does. So those are the new products. I'm hoping to see more people sort of get into practical shooting. I've been standing here doing some loading demos. That's been great. People have been coming over and asking, what's that all about? Why are you loading like that? Hopefully generate some interest and got some new blood into the sport. Uh, that's really, my main goal for today apart from just covering costs I suppose so thanks very much for listening to me waffle on for a bit with Connors with Gunroom TV and I hope to see you soon